got some issues. Half my glow plugs don't work. Um, I have a leaking head gasket and low oil pressure is also a problem that has arised. Let's take a look. Let me show you this head gasket issue. As you see, the truck's been running for like five minutes. This is hard as a rock. We are also leaking an insane amount of oil. There's a boost leak. We've got all kinds of issues. I do, however, have an optimizer. Not just one. I got two optimizers. There's your logo right there. These are in very good shape. Just need to be cleaned up. And uh, I'm gonna be doing the, the whole real deal on these. Uh, scat crank, how they pronounce it, mallet, pistons, rods, gapless rings, uh, probably Promax heads or something of the sort. It's going to be done upright. This build will be coming soon. Uh, I'm still trying to kind of make some money to uh, pay for it because it's not going to be cheap at all. In the meantime, as you've seen, the truck still runs and drives. Um, I do have a different daily driver now. But uh, today, I'm going to try and be fixing for good the soft brake pedal as well as possibly servicing the differentials and transfer case. So I'll go ahead and explain kind of what I'm going to do today. I do have a PMD relocation. I just need a bigger heat sink because this one's way too small. But today I'm going to be fixing the brake shoes because they were put on incorrectly. And I've got the gaskets for the axle ends that you just saw. I've got new wheel seals because they typically will begin to leak after you do this job, pull the drums off. And then we're going to adjust the rear brakes, adjust the parking brake, get all that working good. Um, as you can see, this fluid isn't terrible, but I don't know the last time it was changed. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. They actually make a socket for this right here, which I'm going to pick up shortly when I go to get lunch so that I can properly torque it back down. And the way these work is the longer brake shoe is supposed to go on the back side and the shorter one goes on the front. Okay, so I went ahead and redid this side. 
uh, without filming just so I could have the picture for reference for the springs, obviously. But you see the back side now is bigger than the front. So now we're good to reassemble. So it took a lot of convincing, but I finally got the old seal out. It honestly wasn't in terrible shape and wasn't leaking, but it's recommended to replace it anyways. While well, you have this off. And there, as you see, our new one is in. So you see kind of how carefully I did that right there. That was to prevent tearing that seal that we just replaced. That's a common issue when doing this kind of work on these trucks uh, with the full float 14 volt. So I've always had an issue with these two when doing the studs is they ne I can never get them hammered right back in. Uh, what I do about that is obviously torque the wheels down and then run it around the street for a little bit, come back, retorque them, and then do your 100 mile torque. And it should pull everything back to how it should be. So next we're going to set the uh, hub nut on. Okay, 50 foot pounds. Okay, there's 50 foot pounds, and they say spin it in the opposite direction, then back it off. Torque it back to 30 foot pounds, 35. Okay, there's 35, then back it off to the next um, keyhole. Just right there. shaft with a new gasket oh, as I crush the gasket
Okay, so we've got the wheels back on and I've already gone and adjusted the brakes a little last night, but it got dark. You see the adjuster. All you gotta do with that adjuster is get a screwdriver in there and kind of rotate it up. So there, you hear it clicking. And the way I like to do it is adjust it until you feel the wheels start to drag a little bit. And at, at that point, uh, your rear brake should be adjusted enough to work properly. Setup has been. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's not green. <laughs> so that's a plus. All right, so we've got the painted diff cover put back on. I went ahead and put another paper gasket just because that's what was on there when it came off and it didn't leak. And uh, went ahead and torqued all the bolts down, crisscross pattern evenly to 30 foot pounds. All right, so I've drove this truck enough now, about 100 miles. You see, we put a new brush guard on it. But we drove it enough to retorque the lugs. Everything stayed pretty tight there. And uh, as you can see, I went ahead and repainted the rear axle. But we've got no leaks, all our wheel seals are good and the brakes feel great so we're good here all right so i think that's going to be it for the work on the 6.5 in this video um i really need to focus on building this motor uh obviously that's a priority i think we're going to get this block decked just because you see you have a little bit of damage right there and uh, that must have just been Happened in the process of getting it here, getting it on the stand, all that mess. So, no big deal. We'll have a fresh start. And uh, after that, we're going to clean this thing out and start putting parts on. I also am probably going to make a couple videos on this. This is my new daily. 2001 Blazer. Pretty clean. It just needs some general maintenance. Just high mileage maintenance. It's got 242,000 miles, and uh, transmission needs service. Both differentials need the oils changed. Just simple stuff like that. So there'll be some content on this, more content on the 6.5, uh, especially as we begin to build our bulletproof engine.